this. I could drag it over to this one. I could come over here and I could grab it. And I can bring it on over. Just watch this. This is so cool. Just boop. And then I can come down here and I can launch whatever. Double click. Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, just a quick little recap. Uh, this is kind of a follow-up for the G-Check uh, Onlap um, portable USB powered monitor. This is a touch monitor. I'll come back over here. So what I've done here is this is a Surface Pro 3. And so what I've done is I've used the Surface Pro 3 uh, and configured this uh, secondary monitor here uh, to be just that, a portable secondary monitor, and it gives you a lot more real estate. You can see the size versus the, the, the surface here. Bigger screen, better resolution, um, and uh, just really going to make this surface much more um, productive on the go. So two things I want to point out. So one, I've got this configured to where this is just extending the monitor. So if I can basically take this, I could drag it over to this one. I could come over here and I could grab it and I can bring it on over just like that. Pretty darn cool. So this has touch built in. Now there is a way you've got to configure this to get it to do touch and the touch handoff from the Surface to the the uh, G-Chick uh, 1303i over here. <coughs> and um, excuse me guys, I'm fighting some allergies today. So anyway, obviously I've got this in tablet mode. I've taken the little touch keyboard here that comes uh, separately from the Surface Pro 3's uh, taking it off, put this in tablet mode, and I've configured it to extend the monitor over here. And then <clears throat> you have to calibrate it to uh, touch. So basically it's real simple. Now, how do we get this hooked up like this? That, that's the question. All the cables you need for the Surface Pro R3 is included minus one. Okay, You'll need to get it, and this is a cheap cable, it's like 10 bucks, and I'll have a link in the show notes. You have to get a mini display port adapter to HDMI, and this has got a female port on it. And then basically the included HDMI to micro HDMI cable that comes with this monitor goes into that, and that extends the video. Now, this is also, this is an included cable, and the way I've got this set up is this is a double-ended um, type A USB and it's got a micro USB port on the other end is I've got one of the USB type A's into the side here. This is the only USB port on the Surface Pro 3. So if you want to use a, a hub uh, so you can do a mouse, um, I would highly recommend that. I actually had to unplug my mouse here from the Surface because I've only got the one HDMI or uh, USB uh, port here. Um, this is not enough juice to do everything. So I've got the other end of this which is a type A back here to a portable battery. Okay? So that's giving this monitor a little more power and it's not draining so much from my Surface Pro 3 uh, because obviously I'm mobile, I'm on the road, and I want to be able to use my Surface Pro 3 as much as I can. Um, so taking some of that load off of that uh, to power this monitor with a battery pack like that is probably the ideal situation. So uh, basically that's it. <clears throat> Once you've got it cabled up like this, so this is the to display port of the Surface. This is the uh, to the USB of the Surface and also to the battery back. And that is all. Those two cables and some configurations within the Windows system here to basically extend the display and can calibrate the touch. And you can basically come over here and you can do all the window gestures. You can see I just brought the scroll bar up there. I can hide it and come over here, um, scroll. Actually, that brought it up over here. Look at that, the Action Center um, for Windows 10. So scrolling right over here brought it up on the main screen. Um, but you know, like I said, I can sit here and I can drag this across. You can see, and then I can just go ahead and grab it over here and pull it on the rest of the way. How cool is that? That is just awesome stuff. Uh, obviously, I can multitask a whole lot easier than the one screen on the Surface. Um, and then you know, you don't have to have these as touch if you want to use your keyboard and have a mouse, then you can still use this, but I was just kind of demoing the touch part because it does have that feature and that is really cool in a portable monitor to say the least. Uh, but if you just want to use it as a standard non-touch monitor and have your keyboard and your mouse easily to do, all you do is you don't have to have this hooked up um, 
multiple, you know, you can just plug it into this or you can just plug it into your uh, battery pack. You don't need to plug into the USB port on the, the Surface because you don't need that touch and the extra power that the touch will take for this monitor to do it. Um, so anyway guys, really cool stuff. Uh, again, check the show notes. I'll have a link where you can pick up this uh, monitor. This is awesome. I uh, also have this um, display port to HDMI female cable. Really, this is the only special sauce that you're going to need to get this to work. Once you buy this, you can do this, okay? There's no other magic behind it, uh, except if you want to get a battery pack or a USB hub. Uh, you know, I would highly recommend one of those two, um, because without the battery pack, this just didn't have the juice to power the touch. I was having a lot of problems getting the touch calibrated and working over here on this portable. Once I hooked it up to the battery pack, no problems whatsoever. Touch was definitely an option, and again, just watch this. This is so cool. This boop, and then I can come down here and I can launch whatever. Double click. Now, until you actually tell it where you want it, so Chrome actually launched over here. So if I actually want Chrome to launch from over here from now on, then all I gotta do is drag it across, and it'll remember where I had Chrome, and then it should relaunch it. So I'll just close it here, again, just touch, and then double click, and then boom, Chrome comes right up over here. So pretty darn cool stuff, guys. I mean, this is definitely making it a lot more productive with a, a laptop or a touch, you know, you can have this with anything. I'm just demoing it with a Surface Pro 3. But this will work with a laptop. This will work with an Ultrabook. It will work with your 2-in-1s, which kind of like the Surface Pro 3 is. It's a tablet um, and a kind of a laptop, too, if you get the uh, keyboard that uh, is an extra bit. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.